his best behavior now because he's like, no, I'm not evil. Yeah, a little bit. You're a little evil. It's okay. <laughs> Hey flockers and welcome to the dreaded video why not to get a cockatoo starring my best friend bogey bogey and i get so so many questions about buying a cockatoo so many people want to buy one they want to ask oh. this is a great example thanks bogey a lot of our followers ask us really, really great questions about what it's like to own a cockatoo. They wanna know if they should get a cockatoo, if a cockatoo is a good first pet, yada, yada, yada. And they're great questions. Um, they're just very complex answers. Everything that I'm about to say is because I've experienced it. It's not from research or what people have told me. It's that I own one and it can be a living hell sometimes. Cockatoos are aggressive. Parrots are aggressive. If you get a bird and expect it never to bite you, you're going to be very, very, very upset when you come to find... <laughs> Hi. When you come to find the nature of your parrot. He literally was attacking my husband's face. He attacked my face and actually made it bleed, which he's never done before. I know, look at him acting all innocent right here. Birds bite. Birds are not dogs. That's my biggest piece of advice I could give people. So if you want to get a parrot and think that it's going to cuddle with you every night and it's going to be dog-like, get that out of your head. Not true. When you think that you are a good bird trainer, a good bird owner, and then your bird fly attacks your face and makes you bleed, and then you start to question everything all over again. Aggression is a day-to-day -day struggle and it's a day-to-day -day adjustment of what to do and the boundaries you have to set and rules you have to follow and it's very stringent and that's what i've had to realize recently Ow. is i've had to put up a whole new set of rules for bogey and i and our boundaries it's a thing don't expect your bird to not be aggressive <laughs> a bird shirt <laughs> Oh my god, I'm scared. <laughs> oh wait, okay, here we go. Yeah, he's fighting me. Uh, yeah, he's <laughs> Here he goes again. Okay. <laughs> like in love with me. Oh, I think he might like me more than you. Oh! <laughs> Bogey is loud, he screams, he flies around. We live in a condo. We had to get new windows so that we could try to have our neighbors not make us get rid of him. I got him, I watched videos where people are saying they're really quiet. They are not quiet, that's crazy, that's ludicrous. Don't ever let someone tell you that galahs aren't loud. They are loud. And one of his favorite things to do in the morning is to fly around and squawk, and he's a bird. That's not trained, I swear. And then he lands up on my TV and pecks it. See? Day in the life. I make it all funny and cute on his Instagram, but if you think that that's funny and cute all the time, you might be kind of crazy too. You might be a cockatoo. They're messy as flock. Bogey is so, so messy. If you are not a neat freak, then your house is gonna turn into a hoarder house. And if you are a neat freak, you're going to be freakishly cleaning your house 24 seven. I own three vacuum cleaners. I vacuum probably every single day. The amount of feathers and dust that comes off this little guy blows my mind. Not to mention the food he flicks everywhere. Oops, you take all over the place. That's a whole thing as well. I've been trying to potty train Bogey. He's super stubborn. Owning cockatoo is like a mind game every day of whose will is stronger. If you don't like messes or you don't like poop on your carpet or you don't like your things destroyed, don't get one because that will happen no matter what. Could take the cockatoo out of the wild. 
but you can't take the wild out of the cockatoo. <laughs> they are super expensive. So bogey was expensive in general, but the expenses do not stop there. Let me tell you, you have to buy organic pellets for your bird treats, fresh toys every month. Bogey gets a annual physical. And if he doesn't, if you don't feed your bird the correct foods, then they can get fatty liver disease. And then that's a whole slew of bills from the vet that you have to deal with. Fresh fruits and vegetables are super important when you own a bird, especially galahs who are prone to tons and tons of health problems. Getting your bird groomed. The things your bird will destroy also is an expense. So when they chew your earring apart, destroy your furniture, break your TV, pop out the keys of your keyboard, that all adds into the expenses of owning a bird. The vacuums you have to buy, training courses you have to purchase so you don't have an aggressive bird attacking your face. I've spent so much money on this little pink bird. Then another expense is travel. So if you like to travel, which we do, you have to find a place to board your bird. We board Bogey at a veterinarian's office and they're awesome, but they're not cheap. So that's another expense you have to think about before you buy a bird or cockatoo. Parrots live a very, very long time. And with everything I mentioned above happening for 60 years, that's a lot to handle. There is a slew of reasons why you should not buy a cockatoo, the aggression, the messiness, how loud they are, how expensive they are, and then times that by 60 years. You guys, it's such a serious commitment and I will never tell someone to buy one. If I'm sending you this video, it's not to destroy your dreams, it's to save you from a lot of heartache and don't, no, no, no! If you didn't catch that, Bogey almost just pooped on me. Basically what I was saying is parrots are the number one most rehomed pet in the world and that is because of all the points that I made above. Please, please heed my warning. Don't take what I said lightly because it's true. I really appreciate you guys um, sitting down and watching our videos. I just hope to educate and help other people out who are in the same situation as me or help prevent you know what I did, which was impulse by a cockatoo. And boy, was I in for a rude awakening, wasn't I? Yes, I was. Bless you. If you have any other, don't, don't. If you have any other reason, hey. If you have any other reason to not get a bird, put it below so more people can be educated and see why you know, maybe they should get a dog. Hey!